Today I'm rebuilding a suction stop. It is a Parker. I've already got it apart. This is what the housing looks like without the suction stop on there. Very important to get the gasket all out. See the gasket? I gotta scrape all that out. This is what the suction stop looks like when it's together, the solenoid. When ordering it, make sure you give them the uh, port size and the connection size. There it is. I usually just take a picture of that and order the whole rebuild kit. So I've got the new, the new pieces right here, All right? That's your plunger. That goes in and out based on the pressure. Here's the, here's the other one. So it's important to make sure you put the right gasket back in. Make sure you have all your gaskets. There it is. So it just connects like that. That'll go on there like, well, the other way. But anyways, that's what I'm rebuilding this morning. You can actually feel it's gritty. When you push that plunger in, you can feel it. What's happening is this suction stop is hanging up when it goes into defrost. It's not closing all the way. And I'm, two of my compressors are going off on high discharge. This is a minus 23 suction group. So when circuit A21 goes into defrost, it would take those, it would take two of the three compressors out on high discharge. So when you take these apart, when you push in that plunger, you can actually feel the, the, the grit. It should be nice and smooth. That's nice and, this one's nice and smooth. So that's a good indication that that one's bad. But um, the, how I found that was obviously the compressors were off on uh, high discharge, but I did a graph. So at five o'clock in the morning and at five o'clock in the afternoon, my suction pressure would go up to 40, 50 pounds on a minus 23 suction group, even though the set point is 16. So. That's how I determined it was um, circuit A21. But anyways, that's this morning's job. Got the back pump there. Boom, we're ready. Not a bad job. Just gotta pump it down, get the refrigerant out, and rebuild it. And that's it.